Hello YouTube, my name is Varun and today I'm here to tell you a very easy way to create our own mockups like this that we have here. You can render it from any angle and it's all made with Illustrator, all bottled with Illustrator and in just about 10 minutes you'll see how powerful this is. So let's start. So here we are in Illustrator and uh, I already have an image that I took from the internet of the bottle that I'm going to recreate and uh, you can pretty much model anything that's that's uh, that revolves so you cannot make custom shapes that that have different things on the side it always have to be round so I think this is a pretty good example of how everything is round like it doesn't have different shapes or edges that are that are going to be different around the areas so um, let's start and we're only going to create half of the image using strokes so let's create a visual guide for us turn this line into a guide and lock it from his side and now using a stroke and no fill we're going to create a bottle and then a cap so we'll start with a bottle just um, just make the edges however you like it. I'm just going to create something like this looks fine. Now, uh, one thing that we need to keep uh, keep in mind that we always have to round off the edges because the rounder edges will catch more light and those nice lights that you see um, on the rim. So. Let's do that. And now I want some rings around this corner because there are going to be always going to be rings that's going to hold the cap. So to do that, um, I'm going to use scissor tool and cut it from this side. And school effect, distort and transform. Click on zigzag. Smooth. Five looks fine. And this looks good expand the appearance and we need to join these two edges that are here so we need to take this and it will snap so if it's not snapping for you quick could be to view and just check the smart guides smart guides will help you and uh, using direct selection tool you know select these two edges anchor points and connect them around of this area so the bottle is done and then let's go ahead and make the drop also so after making the hard edges like this it's time to round off the corners and this i've left for the last part because i want to make a little smooth shape like this you see this this smooth shape so we can do this with the pen tool. Click and hold Alt or Option key and click and drag. So now we have the cap also. It's looking good. Let's add a bit of color so we know what's happening beforehand. So I'm going to choose yellow for the cap and green for the bottle. So now we're going to make it to 3D. Only select the bottle first. So go to Effect, 3D Materials and Revolve. Now we have hollow bottle repeat the process amazing it's not going to look realistic very realistic so we're not going to do this here i made a label also so fake care from room studio 100 percent natural face remover please do not try or at your own risk so now we have three things let's turn this off this off so we have a dropper, we have a bottle, and we have a label. So it's time to export these. So put it in the asset export panel. Just like this. So for these two, we're going to choose OBJ and export them. And for the label, it's going to be a PNG. Higher resolution, the better. It's time to move to Adobe Dimension. Go to file, import, 
3D model, import everything first. Let's do plastic for the cap and glass for the bottle. Let's add the color, go here, choose base color and yellow. And for the bottle, we're going to add green color to the glass. Now let's select this and click on place graphic on model. Let's change the background. I think I'll put an image here. I downloaded this from Unsplash. Couple of things that you would want to change here. For the camera, if the field view is more than one degrees, that's that's like a different view. And uh, if you change it to one degree, it's now orthographic view. I think I'll change the camera view to about 30. Let's just oops, zoom here. And now I'll just add a bit of things to make it look interesting. You see how easy it was to just create these two things. Add some random objects. What I'm doing right now is to have something in the focus and to create that depth effect. So if you really like a particular camera angle that you are interested in, you can create a bookmark here by clicking this plus icon, scene one, and now you can go back and forth and then come back to that angle again. And now we're going to click on camera and choose focus. Let's click here. A lot of blurriness. You can turn this up or down, like three. Still a lot, but it makes the scene interesting. The lighting is pretty good already, but we can change the lighting I'll just to show you. You can add sunlight and play with the intensity, rotation. A lot of different kind of lights. You can even add your own HDRIs right here by clicking here. So once you are you're happy with the scene like I am right now. So let's let's stop this one here. Let's go to render and Choose the scene that we bookmarked or the current view that's going to see show here. You can quickly rename this file and then choose the quality. So you can choose here if you want a PSD or a PNG. And then we have to choose a location and then just render. That's going to uh, take time depending on what kind of configuration on your computer has. Great, now you can see it's finished. Let's see the file. And that's the tutorial I had for you guys to today. Great, I'll see you in the next one.